ceviche here. So we've looked for the fish this morning so far, prepared the ceviche, and now yep. I really want to know about the history of how you guys got to where you are now. So you both studied in France, but separately, right? Right. And so how did you guys end up coming together? Like how did that, how did it all transpire? We met actually working in a restaurant in Chicago called Le Perroquet. Huh. A very, very fine French restaurant where he had never had a woman in the kitchen before. And uh, I was going to chef school on the south side of Chicago and I had my heart set on working there. Huh. And uh, he offered me a job as a hat check girl. After two years of chef school, I'm working <laughs> my butt off. And I was like, oh my gosh. How did that feel? Like, as a, was it... It's hard as a woman at that time, you know. Yeah, anyway. that was in the 70s. Yeah, it was in French kitchens. There were not very many women in French kitchens, mm. for sure. And when you did go in, no matter what your level was, you sort of, you were at the bottom. And mainly it was with a lot of the guys that were from Mexico that were, you know, making these great staff meals. And that was very cool and exciting. But really didn't matter what your training was. You're a woman in the kitchen, in a French kitchen, you're at the bottom. And you know, that's how we fell in love with Mexican food in some ways, is we had a real camaraderie with those, all those Mexican guys in the kitchens. These guys would like make up some fantastic salsa and in some like a wonderful thing. It'd be like, oh my God, where do you, you, you know, in the 70s, you couldn't get that in a Mexican restaurant. You really couldn't. Uh, so I actually wanted to talk to you guys about Border Grill, the restaurant that we're at right now, and the menu, and some of the things that you guys have on the menu, and maybe, like, what's your favorite? It changes a lot. It evolves a lot. And then there's a few things that literally have been on since... Since we opened, open. yeah. Hmm. Like what? Green corn tamales have been on from day one. We've mm -hmm. tried to take them off. A and people freak? Yeah. yeah. And Plantain and empanadas. Right. And our skirt steak, which when we started buying skirt steak, Nobody knew what a skirt steak was. And it was cheap. And we love that cut of meat. It's got the lovely marbling. And it's very, very Mexican, really. When did you know that this is what you wanted to do? When did you fall in love with? Because it's something you have to love or yeah. else it's just not. Yeah. It's way too hard. And it yeah. it's a profession that I think chooses you. And yeah. you can't get away from it. Yeah. You know, I, I love to cook. My mom was a great cook. I loved cooking. Neither of my sisters liked to cook at all. Mm. I decided to go to chef school when I was about 16. It was a really weird choice in 1974 because, mm. you know, my mom said, it was like saying to my mom I was going to become an auto mechanic. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> there were no, there were no, you know, superstar chefs. It wasn't mm. at all, you know, sexy. Yeah, I feel like, it's like, it's like there's like a, a fantasy around it now. Like if you were to give advice to somebody who was younger who, who thinks that they want to be the next big chef, what right. would that advice be. The most important thing is that you're passionate about it. If you think that this is going to be a career where, oh, I'm going to get out of culinary school even, and I'm going to just make a bunch of money and be at the top of my field, or get on TV, it just doesn't happen that way. I think the most important thing is you have to get in a kitchen and work there, no matter what that position is, and fall in love with the kitchen. Because it's no matter what, even as your career goes, it's lots of long hours, lots of hard work. You're going to burn your hands, cut yourself. You're going to smell like garlic and fish. And smell like night. fish. My husband comes home every night smelling like a garbage can. Yeah. I'm like, go to the shower. Yeah. You smell disgusting. And 18-hour days. I mean, I didn't even yeah. realize that I kind of had that fantasy. I When I first went to culinary school, I thought, oh, this would be fun. You know? And then I went and I thought, oh, gosh, this is way harder than what I would imagine. But if it's your passion, you don't mind putting the time and the effort and the work into it because you love It feels like yeah, a prospectation every day. Every time I get into the kitchen, I feel like the time goes by so fast. I, I'm happy. I It's the best part of my day is cooking. It's amazing. So yeah. have you guys ever like disagree? And you guys work together. Oh no. my God. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I mean, you're running a business 30 together. 30 years. And, and you're, you 30 know, working years. in the kitchen together. I'm sure there's some, like, is there ever some tension or things that you're like, no, I don't want to do it that way, or I want to do it this way? Well, there are Yeah, always. for sure. But I think collaboration is, you know, um, something that I'm really attached to. Susan's really attached to. It's just much more fun. You can, yeah. you can fail and succeed together. I guess, you know, maybe that's a, a girl thing. I don't yeah. know. But we, yeah. you know, we really enjoy the push and pull and the give and take and, mm. and I think really in the end every dish that we make is better for for the collaboration than mm. it would have been if either of us, us had made it separately. What's happened because we've collaborated for so long that's the kind of relationship I think we develop with all the staff because 
We want to hear, you know, what, like, where, where did they grow up? What did they grow up with? What was their mom cooking? And that collaboration is really, I think, like Mary Sue said, it ends up that end product is so much more interesting because you get someone else's input and someone has a thought about why don't we add this to that and mm -hmm. why don't we, and so there is something wonderful about that. Well, thank you guys so much for just taking time out of your day to kind of show me. I don't know very much about all this, but show it to me and I'm going to keep eating this because it's good. amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's great. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you for coming. Great, and I'm so glad you're having your margarita oh, for breakfast. Oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> yeah, it'll make the rest of your day really good. Yeah, oh yeah, the rest of the day I'll be so productive. <laughs>